but I was praying over everybody I seen. And there was a lot of people outside. It was a very low end uh, apartment complex, probably a little bit ghetto. In fact, it was definitely somewhat dangerous uh, to go into that apartment complex because one guy I went up to pray for a group of people and they're all, you know, kind of thugging and stuff. And one guy had went and got a hammer and it was a double, uh, it was a double headed hammer. I don't even know what they're called, but it looked like a dangerous hammer to have. And I don't think I've shared this story yet, but last weekend we went out, uh, Saturday and praying for people. We went into the mall and it was very Holy Spirit led. It seemed like every person we went to pray for got a word, word from God and got healed. And it was like back to back. It felt like just jumping on the river, flowing with the Holy Spirit. It was really powerful. And then we ended up going to the apart apartment complex and we just decided we're going to go and knock on doors and see if anybody needs prayer. So we went through and, and knocked on nearly every door in an apartment complex at least nearly every door on the bottom floor. It was really powerful. There was a lady there. She had, um, there was a lady there. There was two ladies, elderly ladies sitting outside. Probably one was like 50, however, uh, but she didn't seem to have been aging really well. And then there was another one that was about 70. And so I went up and said, hey, does anybody need prayer for anything? And they said, uh, Sir, we're, we're uh, terminally ill. And so I said, well, do you got any pain in your body or anything you want prayer for? And they said, we'll take prayer for, you know, for whatever. And so I ended up praying for one lady. She was about 50. She seemed to really be struggling. Uh, she didn't seem like she could uh, walk very well or anything like that and uh, was very skinny. And so she said uh, she had pain, tremendous pain all the time. She said she's dying and so i said well um and she said but she prays to god all the time and she's been praying to god the past uh couple weeks and praying for god to heal her and i said well that's why we're here right now because uh god's gonna heal you today and so i said what well, hurts on your body she seemed very skeptical uh which is pretty normal and she said her shoulder and so uh, she said, well, her whole body hurts, but she said, you know, one problem she really has is her shoulder. She can't do certain things with it, and she started to show me. And so we prayed for her shoulder, and her shoulder got healed. And then I said, well, now you can uh, try doing what you couldn't do before. And so she did what she couldn't do before. And uh, then she said, well, my hip really hurts. There's Mr. Ed. My hip really hurts. And uh, she said, that's probably my biggest problem um, is my hip because I can't really walk on it and I need to walk all the time. And every time I walk, it try to walk on it, it causes like a lot of pain. And I was like, all right. So we ended up praying over her hips and uh, we prayed over her. and me and Mr. Miggy did the book of Acts. We just said, rise and walk. We picked her up out of her seat and had her move around on it and uh tell us how it felt and uh she had you know teary eyes and said that there was no more pain left in her body and that, that it felt good and she was like thank you guys so much and then we prayed for she had uh she had um muscle dysatrophy in her legs as well and so her legs were very small and and so she kept wanting to stand up but i asked her to go ahead and uh, uh, sit down and and um, and we prayed for her legs that the atrophy would be reversed and that she would be able to strengthen get those muscles back and so we just told her to uh, to start we told her she should start uh, every morning walking and just going on a walk and walking a little bit further and a little bit further every day so those muscles can build back up in her legs and then we just went we kept going around praying for people. Uh, Mr. Ed was the number one person knocking on the doors. I was mainly hit, and uh, but me and me and Mickey did it too. I probably knocked the least, but I was praying over everybody I seen, and there was a lot of people outside. It was a very low end uh, apartment complex, probably a little bit ghetto. In fact, it was definitely somewhat dangerous 
uh, to go into that apartment complex because one guy I went up to pray for a group of people and they're all, you know, kind of thugging and stuff. And one guy had went and got a hammer and it was a double, uh, it was a double headed hammer. I don't even know what they're called, but it looked like a dangerous hammer to have. And, uh, he was probably on meth or some kind of drugs. And as I was walking up to him, he was screaming at me. He was telling me, uh, back up, man, you better back up. He's like, uh, I was like, well, I'm out praying for people, man. I love you, bro. And he's like, well, I hate, I'm the devil and I hate you. <laughs> and I was like, well, I can still pray for you, man. And, uh, was walking towards him. He was telling me like screaming, like you better back up. And, uh, Mr. Ed said all hand hammers are dangerous. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I kept walking towards him for a minute. And uh, I was, uh, I knew I was safe and I almost went up and, and, and did that anyway. But then I thought, you know, uh, there's, there's being persecuted and then there's being foolish. And I wasn't 100% sure what to do. So I just walked away from him. But uh, give him the hammer of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so, but yeah, we stayed in the neighborhood. He stayed out there uh, walking back and forth, just staring at me. Uh, for a while with that hammer and as we were knocking on the doors but it was really powerful we prayed over a lot of people uh seen everybody we prayed over get healed uh of something that had some kind of any kind of elements and then uh yeah it was really 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 powerful and so and we were able to give out we had a bunch of uh tracks and 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 books and we were able to give out i i gave out all of mine so i think most of us gave out all of theirs, and then uh, I grabbed. I had to get extra, so we gave out a lot of a lot of stuff, and uh, just loving people and spreading the news. Uh, 